Hey everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about which programming language you should use when you're doing a technical interview. As it will be for most of these questions, my answer is that it depends. Basically, it depends on your strengths, what you're most comfortable in, what you know, and who you're interviewing with. Speaking from experience, most interviewers will tell you that you can use whichever programming language that you prefer. However, this doesn't really mean any programming language. It means like any acceptable programming language. For example, using something like JavaScript or Ruby might not be the best for a technical interview testing your ability to use data structures and algorithms. I know a lot of you came to my channel from some of my Google videos, so for Google specifically, they tell you you can use Java, Python, or C++. Basically, of those three, you can kind of use whichever is most preferable for you. For example, I personally would probably avoid using C++ because I'm not great at it and I would really worry that I would mess up things with pointers and memory. That being said, if C++ is your strongest language, then you should definitely go for it. In my interviews, I pretty much always use Java because I've been programming with it for so many years at this point and it really is just what I'm most comfortable with. However, if I could go back and do things differently, I think I would prefer to use something like Python in my interviews just because I think it's what most interviewers prefer. Long story short, you should really just go with whichever language you're most comfortable with unless it's like a super weird and out there language. I will try and caution you, don't try and impress your interviewer with using like some really complicated programming language or trying to use like C when you aren't really that good at it because really they don't care about what type of programming language you use. You aren't going to get brownie points for using some really Really difficult programming language. Honestly, it'll probably make the interview go a little bit worse. Instead, just try and use whichever language you're most comfortable with and remember that it's really the data structures, algorithms, and your solutions that count the most. That's all I have for today's Tech Tip Tuesday and I hope I can help you guys in picking a programming language to use in your interviews. If you have ideas or questions for future Tech Tip Tuesdays, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. In the meantime, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!